Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to my The Hunt movie review. Um, this movie is directed by Craig Zobo, and I, I don't know anything about this guy. I looked him up. I've, I haven't seen anything. He's, he's a pretty new director, and it stars Betty Gilpin. Uh, and Hilary Swank comes back. I thought she was... I feel like she was retired from... Not retired officially, but like she took a break for a long time because I don't think she'd done anything in a while. It's good to see her back. And she was good in this, and man, she looks great. And I, for, I forgot she was in the movie. Um, I'll leave it at that. Uh, it stars Betty Gilpin. Now, I couldn't... Like, when I saw her, I was like, where have I seen this woman? Because... I was smitten by her. I was like, oh my god, she is so beautiful. They, they even try to make her look kind of like dirty, but it she still looks incredible. She's got the, I mean, not, not to, you know, sexualize whatever, but oh my god. she uh, Early in the movie, she takes her jacket off, and she's just got a, like a long sleeve shirt. It's not even that revealing, but I, I was like, whoa. She actually uh, said in an interview about like, what it was like, you know, when she hit puberty, and I, I, I was smitten by her. She's she's the actress from the Glow movies. She's like the quote unquote pretty one. And I watched the whole first season of Glow, and I absolutely loved it. I have not watched season two and three. I don't have time to watch uh, TV shows. I, I work out now, and that, that's why I'm falling behind in a lot of things. But uh, this is her movie. She was fantastic. I hope this is a breakout role for her. I hope she becomes an enormous star. My God, she is beautiful. Um, now this movie, there's a lot of contro was a lot of controversy about this movie, and I think it's unfair to judge this movie based on its premise alone. Yes, it starts off how I thought. I was like, "Oh my God, here we go," but it is not what you think. In the words of Luke Skywalker, it does not go the way you think. It is not an anti this or anti that. It's just by the end of it, it's like there's some lunatics who are mad and self righteous and. It, they're, they're mostly just mad and they're crazy. I, I, I won't I won't give anything away. If I if I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be deceptive. It is a very very deceptive movie. And um, on the Star Shutter scale, I give this movie uh, a seventy eight out of a hundred. I was gonna give it a seventy five, but just even talking about it. Um, this is the kind of see. This is the kind of movie that subverts your expectations. I had not really seen. I think I saw one preview briefly, and then I just kind of saw a little bit of media. Oh, they're killing you know people who vote for Donald Trump. Um, it's it's different than that. It's not just that. It's not it's not a liberal's wet dream at all. Um, the liberals are the bad guys actually in the movie. Um, so take that with a grain of salt and they do throw the insults but it's not it did not feel preachy to me and if something is preachy I will call it out um, this was not it was not woke it was not I, I enjoyed this movie um, yeah it's, 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 a, it's very man Betty Gilpin just did so so well she had this look on her face that was just like, man, I, I, I want to see her in more things. I want to see her in more, more things. And it really surprises you from the start because you're following, I, I, it just, I was like, oh my God, like, wow. I, I, I may want to see it again. I definitely recommend seeing it. You know what? I'm, I'm wanting to rate it even higher. As I'm sitting here talking about it. I mean, you know what? I'm going to give it a 79. I just changed my mind while I was here. It's 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 very subversive. It's very deceptive. Um, I, I, I highly recommend. Don't, don't listen to all that. Oh, it's political. They just use that to set up the premise. It could have been anything. It could have been... Uh, uh, I don't know. Soldiers that were on a... You know, they were captured by terrorists, and it, it uses the political landscape as a premise, and then turns it on its head. And the movie is very entertaining, and it's because of Betty Gilpin. Hilary Swank was the, the next standout, of course, uh, and I want to see more from this Craig Zabel guy. Very promising. Uh, I don't know if he 
he didn't write it. Uh, it was written by Nick Cuse and David La Lindelof. Uh, so I don't know the I don't know what what those guys have written. Uh, but uh, I look forward to seeing more from them. I I I really think oh he wrote Watchmen. Okay, a Watchmen show. Um, I, I I recommend this movie, even for for a late night type type deal. The other guy also wrote on the Watchmen show. I highly recommend this movie. Go see it. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.